Coverage you can count on begins with local high school students honoring the memory of a former student by doing a good deed. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell joining us now with the story. When kids are picked up by DFACs, they are not allowed to take a single thing with them, just the clothes on their backs. Today, Augusta Christian students packed more than 100 bags to give to these kids. They are giving back in honor of a student who left too soon. Emily Roberson's parents light up when they talk about her. Flower child. Firecracker coming in a rain. She's full of joy. She died in a car crash last June, a year after graduating from Augusta Christian. Even though she's no longer here, her spirit of service lives on. It's just, it connects so much with who Emily was. In her memory, Augusta Christian students have spent months collecting items and raising money for children who have nothing. Those who are picked up by defects and forced to leave their possessions behind. So this whole is all just put together to try and really show them that they're cared for, that they're loved, and they have somebody who really loves them. Wednesday, dozens of students came out after school to pack more than 100 to-go bags for kids transitioning into foster care. When you walk in and see all the kids staying after, it's just very heartwarming. The bags are personalized by age group. For example, a six-year-old may be given a toothbrush, socks, a coloring book, and a fresh pair of underwear. It's something to ease the trauma of being plucked from what may be the only home they've ever known. I knew Emily a bit, uh, and uh, she just had this, such a heart for children, such a heart for caring for people, no matter the situation, no matter who they were. And this is, this is just exactly what she would have wanted us to do and carry on. Her parents say they believe Emily is smiling down on Augusta Christian's student body as they do this work. We feel very blessed. We feel like Emily would be and is um, seeing all that's being done today in, in her honor, but more so um, just being doing, done in the Lord's honor. And I think that's bringing her a great joy, and it's bringing us a lot of joy to know that, um, that we're able to do this. That we're able to do this. Augusta Christian will continue this service in memory of Emily every year going forward.